But yeah, as I said before, uh, the game is all about your choices. The game will adapt to your choices. That's why I especially like it. Um, you can choose to side with whoever you want. You can also choose to be the biggest prick in the wasteland and kill everybody you see on sight. And uh, yeah, uh, you get, of course, some positive and neg thing, negative things out of the every solution you, you take and uh, it's just about playing the game and do what you believe is the right thing and I don't want to use my caravan shotgun against these guys because they're pretty pathetic it is just overgrown um, overgrown grasshoppers or what are they called? Kneeler? I don't know what they're called in English that's kind of what's it called? Uh, mantis that's right mantis for like and you lost your leg. Here we go. And we need to pick up this sander root, I think it's called. Yes, sander root. We need it as an ingredient to cook stuff. Next up is over here. There's a bighorn, which is friendly in this area because it's tamed. But if you find it in the wild, they can be dangerous and they can attack you without warning. They're not that dangerous, though, because they don't do a lot of damage, but still be careful about them. Yeah, and in case you didn't know already, this is probably my favorite game of all time. I don't know how many hours I've spent on this, countless hours. But it still is a freaking fun game nonetheless. And we're gonna go over to the cemetery, which is up by the big, big, um, water... What's it called? Uh, water tower, I think. Yeah, something like that. And uh, I'm gonna get some some uh, what's, roots or something. I don't remember. What is that? That's just a little scorpion. And there's don't don't get me wrong. It is definitely little. This one you can find a lot bigger freaking scorpions and things worse than that. And we actually just have happen to have a village just to close to the... I think it's called the Scorpion Valley or something. And guess what it's crowded with down there? Oh yes. A lot of freaking scorpions. And that was just a baby. Just letting you know. Shit. Ah. Yep, I hit you. Come at me, bro. I'm gonna try to avoid getting damaged much as possible. That's the wrong button. This is the one. Did I hit you? No, I did not. God damn it. Hit, stupid varmin rifle. There we go. Perfect. Still hidden. They haven't seen me. That's a bloat fly, in case you didn't know. Giant freaking... I don't know, flies, and they're freaking annoying as hell. You need to stand still, dude. Did I hit it? Come on. I don't think I am. Screw it. Let's go full on battle. Come at me. Are you guys retarded? I'm right here. Shoot the bodies. Blay them. Blay them. There we go. Now come at me. And of course they will be attacking me. They shoot their stingers, which is really annoying, but I know how to evade them. So. Nothing in you. Some bloat fly meat. That's perfect. If we had a shovel. Yep. We could have opened everything. And this is basically where we were. Our grave. Yay. We were found up here by the um, robot Victor. And we were looking for some flowers. That's right. Totally forgot. And where are they? There we go. Um, pick Brock flower. That's what it's called. Here we go. And a um, fun story about this place. It says keep out. That's a good idea because that's Scorpion Valley down there. Uh, they do say this place is haunted, and if you show up at night, you can hear some scary noises. And you also heard some gunfire. Uh, that's probably something out there. 
this is the Death Valley, I think it's called, where the Death Claws are hanging out. Uh, before you venture deeper into it, finish, travel onwards, yes. So, it's not saying keep out f without a reason, that is definitely a warning for you not to kill yourself. But down here is our little safety village. Should have gotten a shovel. That was kind of stupid. I think I'm going to go to the general store and see if he has one. Or steal one. I don't know. I need one. Yeah. So let's uh, throw down our weapon. Sheath our... You don't sheath a rifle, I don't think. You just put it on your back, apparently. And I look so classy. Let's go to the general store, which is over here, I think. And, um, yeah, let's get ourselves a shovel, because we need that. Oh, hello, can I steal you? No, I can't. Or can I? Nope. You don't have a model, it seems, that can be stolen. Workbenches for crafting stuff, and reloading benches for decrafting stuff. And I probably won't use that, because... I don't know. It, it seems pointless to, to go into details on getting different stuff to make special bullets. Don't really want to go through the trouble of doing that. You looking to buy some supplies? Yes, sir. Show me if you have a shovel. Do you happen to have a shovel? And luckily, it's arranged alphabetically, so we can find everything in here. By its... There we go. By the proper... Um, satisfied customer. Using the proper first letter. Yeah, awesome. Now we have a shovel, so we need to go back to the spring, which is over here. That was kind of stupid not buying that from the start. Uh, cemetery thing. And dig up some graves, because what do you do when you're on a freaking graveyard? You dig up graves. Obviously, that's the right thing to do. No, we do get some stuff, uh, which is kind of awesome. We do get a silenced gun, I think, and some weapons, and some bullets, and... It's just, it's just a good idea if you, if you're new to the game. So that's why we're gonna do it. Definitely not new to the game, but every advantage is an advantage, ad advantage that is worth doing. I don't know. Here we are. Grave. Open it. Take everything in it. And here, I guess you can hear the freaking water tower doing some weird stuffs. Some of the graves are actually said to be haunted. You close near if you're close to them, you can uh, hear whispers and I don't know. Personally, don't believe in bullshit like that, but yeah, it's it's a fun adding to the game nonetheless. And you can hear the water tower is really noisy. Uh, empty bottles they actually do have a value. That's kind of awkward. And there's also some graves outside, just outside somewhere. The fenced area, which do contain some awesome loot. And there's also a grave, which has a thing on the tombstone, I think. Is it you? No. Hmm, where is it? Hmm, uh, hmm, where is it? Is it? No, not down. There's somewhere, there's a bobblehead or something, I think. I can't remember. It has some awesome stuff on the freaking... Ooh, hello. Rounds. Okay. Might be that I've already found it or something. I don't remember the physics of the game. I just think that there is somewhere that I can go and find some awesome stuff. Anyway. Other graves, where are you? Somewhere around here. I don't know if I actually can see any of the scorpions. No, I can't, but if you go down there or there, you'll be sure to find some bodies and you'll find a freaking pack of giant deadly scorpions which you don't want to mess with. I'm just saying. Is it down? No, it's not down there. Where the hell is it? Is it here? No, where is it? Where the hell is my loot? Come on, what the... Flipping balls. Where is it? There's some supposed to. I think it's over here. I'm not sure. There's supposed to be like three graves you can drop and you get some awesome loot. Apparently not today. Any scorpions down there? Anywhere? 
really want to see one. But yeah, you don't just want to take a gander through there. That's pretty much suicide. Ah. We have the flower. I think it was in here. There was some awesome stuff on that freaking cross sign. Whatever. I'm over it. I'm over it. God damn it. I want to find those graves, though. And shooting. Awesome. Yeah, that does happen a lot. And I don't know if it's background noise or if it's actually somebody killing each other. Because uh, NPCs do tend to attack each other randomly through the game. Even if you're not even close by. Uh, you might be able to find, like, dead bodies that's not supposed to be there and stuff. Which, yeah. I don't know if it's it's random or whatever, but, yeah. Grab everything you can. It could be sold. And this is basically scavenging. I take shit that's really worthless. It really is. And I claim money for it. Hmm. Kind of freaking pisses me off that I can't find the grave place. Who cares? Let's go back to the place where everybody is and sell our stuff. Because we don't want to be over crumbled again. It's annoying to walk around over crumbled. We actually should uh, meet up with the girl. Sunny smiles. Let's do that first. So we can get some stuff. Uh, she's basically teaching us how to cook stuff up and get, like, medics, anti-venom, um, you know, just chems in general. Which I don't really use much. That's why I don't really pay attention to it. Uh, it is definitely useful if you're playing hardcore mode, which we're not. So it doesn't really make a difference to us. So, yeah. She's by a campfire over here, by like far out. It's annoying, you have to walk. Can't fast travel, because we don't have the fast travel option, because we've never been there before. And I don't think it's a area that you can fast travel to either. It's just behind those rocks right there. Yeah. So, ooh, hello, what's this? That's the fridge. That's because we have the wild, wild wasteland perk. We get this funny noise. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys get the reference at all, but that is supposed to be Indiana Jones, as he was in the fridge and was shot off. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Okay, that's not part of the perk. But, yeah, it's a Indiana Jones reference because he was... In that fridge when a nuclear bomb went off. Yeah, you know if you've seen the movie. If not, that's just too bad. I haven't seen the movie myself, but I've seen the trailer and I've seen the specific scene because my teacher in like eighth grade showed it to me. So that's a funny coincidence. There's also uh, some other random stuff. Some random places. Might get to see it. I don't freaking remember where they are. Some of them I do, some of them I don't. And some of the reference I get, some of them I don't. 